And I'm Stephanie Rule in Washington. On what has turned out to be a very busy Tuesday night, the Biden White House now facing what may be a critical point in Russia's nine-month war on Ukraine. The government of Poland, a key ally of both the U.S. and NATO, says a Russian-made missile hit a town just four miles from the border with Ukraine, two, killing two Polish people. Russia denies intentionally targeting Poland, and the Pentagon has yet to confirm exactly what happened. But even if it turns out to be accidental, there are serious fears that Putin's war might quickly escalate into a much wider conflict. Since Poland is a member of NATO, the question is how other members, including the U.S., should respond. NATO is holding an emergency meeting in Brussels tomorrow to discuss. And President Biden was huddling with world leaders during his final hours at the G20 summit in Indonesia. The White House released a photo right here of the president calling the president of Poland, along with his secretary of state, Blinken, and national security advisor, Jake Sullivan. Not long ago, the president talked about the next steps, not just for the U.S., but for our allies as well. We agreed to support Poland's investigation into the explosion in rural Poland near the Ukrainian border. And I'm going to make sure we figure out exactly what happened. Is it too early to say whether this missile was fired from Russia? There is preliminary information that contests that. It's unlikely in the minds of the trajectory that it was fired from Russia. Hours before the deadly incident in Poland, Russia was launching a series of devastating airstrikes all across Ukraine, leaving millions of civilians without power at this freezing time of year. NBC's Richard Engel is there with more. Russia's wrath after a public humiliation. Following Ukraine's success taking back Kherson, a wave of airstrikes tonight, one hitting this residential building in Kyiv. In Ukraine, Russia targeted power facilities and caused widespread blackouts. Russia fired roughly 100 missiles across six regions in an apparent coordinated strike on infrastructure. But Ukraine's President Zelensky shaking his fist and vowing, we will survive everything. As Russia renews long-range strikes, Ukrainian forces are trying to capitalize on their momentum and tonight are on the offensive. As we keep a close eye on the situation in Ukraine, there is developing news here at home about the former president. No surprise, two hours ago, the twice impeached Donald Trump, accused of inspiring a riot at the Capitol to cling to power, officially announced his 2024 campaign from his home in Florida, the Mar-a-Lago Club, the very same place where just four months ago, an FBI search recovered records, including top secret and classified documents that had been taken from the White House. Trump's handling of those records is now the focus of a still ongoing Justice Department investigation, just one of the many legal challenges he still faces as a presidential candidate.